hiring Hoosiers, an RTV6 initiative exploring jobs every day right here at RTV6 in Studio A. Over the next 10 years, there could be many, many open opportunities right here in our state. And that's because Indiana is expected to lose around 180,000 workers. RTV6's Amanda Sorrentino shows you a new recruitment technology designed to help fill all, I mean all, of those jobs. This Broad Ripple business is all about company culture inside the building while providing their product, Covideo, to businesses around the world. But Covideo's president, Jason Price, says finding the right people to work at his tech company is not always easy. There's a talent gap here. I mean, especially at the executive level. And so we, we need to bring these smart people back. That is why Jason enlisted the help of TMAP to help grow his staff. So how many leads do you have today? Elizabeth Abram is Jason's new director of marketing. She's a Hoosier who left for an East Coast job in 2012. But now she's back and has TMAP to think. I wanted to stay in technology. Um, I wanted to work for a high growth company. TMAP finds talent like Elizabeth by using data, science, and state-of-the-art marketing to select talent specific for Indiana companies. TMAP stands for Talent Map, and Bill Osterley is the CEO. He wants his technology to assist Indiana companies as the state's workforce shrinks. So the idea was maybe we could build a profile of all of the people in the world who might be willing and able to work in Indiana. TMAP is working with the state's universities and their alumni to build this talent pool database. Companies move, which causes more people to move. We have to be aware of our situation. So we're going to have to go outside the state, find the most talented people we can, and recruit them back. Right now, there are millions of names in the TMAP system, with thousands of people who have shown interest in coming back for the right opportunity. If you work hard and you show initiative, you can become anything you want. What are you working on? Elizabeth Abram is a TMAP success story. Yeah. Months after her original conversations with Austerly's company, TMAP linked Elizabeth with Covideo and Jason Price. They really come in, get to understand who we are, and they've done a fan fantastic job. So we hired in Elizabeth. She was literally the only person that we interviewed. This was the first company they showed me. Yes. It was yeah. the one and, and only. It, it was a match, yeah. I, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably still be in Boston if it weren't for TMAP. In Indianapolis for RTV6, I'm Amanda Starantino. It's all about making those connections every single day here during Hiring Hoosiers. You know, our other big focus as part of this project is also identifying barriers that could keep you from being happy at work. A new Gallup poll shows that 44% of people say they feel just burned out by work sometimes. And now burnout is an official medical diagnosis. Our Kamasi Aaron is taking a look at the symptoms and how one group is fighting against it. What do you have coming in next? It's calm right now in the critical care unit at Swedish Medical Center. Okay. But at any moment, that can change. People, major car crashes, cardiac arrests, um, people that have just had open heart surgery, um, pretty major things. Um, we bring, bring people back to life. Emily Belfort says it's amazing, but also challenging. The families um, are very emotional, and so you kind of take on some of that stress as a secondary type trauma. That's why she decided to start a group for her team to debrief together after a traumatic event. They express feelings and emotions and learn coping strategies to deal with stress. The goal? To prevent burnout. There's kind of like a four or five year mark in nursing where people either can deal with the burnout, they learn coping mechanisms, or they find a different job. The World Health Organization now recognizes burnout as an occupational phenomenon. It's described as a syndrome resulting from chronic workplace stress that has not been successfully managed. The organization says there are three symptoms, feeling depleted or energy or exhausted, feeling mentally distanced from or cynical about your job, and problems getting your job done successfully. Successfully. And it's something that we don't want to just um, ignore. Dr. Monique Butler is chief medical officer at Swedish and says burnout can take a toll on your health. It can cause a number of different additional symptoms, including chest pain, shortness of breath, and it could really manifest itself into physical symptoms. She says it's important to acknowledge your symptoms, talk with someone you trust, even a professional if needed. Emily says it's made all the difference here. And so it's kind of more of a team and more of a family than just you alone taking care of these challenging patients and dealing with this by yourself. I'm Kamasi Aaron reporting. Kamasi, thank you so much. And still ahead in the A 
page of Instagram, a chance to get your art into the public eye and how you can win big with your very own photography. That and a final check of your Storm Team 6 forecast on this beautiful Friday next right here on RTV6. Only get yours at Zaxby's. So check out the picture behind me. That is eye candy. If you have a great eye, and this is your chance to get your photography featured on a statewide scale. The Indiana Department of Agriculture is now accepting submissions for its annual photo contest. There are some of the winners from 2018 you're seeing right now. You'll need to submit five great photos to win to enter yours. We put a link in this story on the RTV6 mobile app. Good luck. There's a lot of beautiful things to see in Indiana. Pictures just have that yeah, response wow. that's, you know, video is awesome. I mean, we make a living with it. <laughs> but pictures are, <laughs> are great, too, because you add so much with your own mind to what's happening. Have I made any sense? Not at all. I don't but know. It's going to be dry, that. right? It's going to be dry for the next couple of days.